Hello! I'm going to do a little lesson today on uh, some arpeggio figures that I like to use. They uh, help me cover a lot of real estate on the uh, fretboard very quickly and they're very easy to uh, move around. What they are, I call them uh, diatonic uh, symmetrical arpeggio shapes. Um, they're symmetrical in that they're movable all over the neck and uh, while maintaining the same fingering uh, throughout the different octaves. Um, they're diatonic seventh because they contain four notes, a root, a third, a fifth, and a seventh of, of the chord that, of which uh, you're playing the arpeggio. So, um, let's say for example we're going to build one on a C, C major seven it's going to be. So, we're going to start with a root note here, root, how about a third, which is going to be an E above the C, the seventh fret on the fifth string, and then the tenth fret on the same string we're going to play a G, which that's our fifth. seventh. So we've got this. A major seven arpeggio. Simple enough. But we want to make this into a nice little compact form that we can move all around the fretboard very easily. So what I'm going to do is change what we call the inversion of the chord. And I'm going to take this final note, the seventh, I'm going to drop it down one octave. So it's going to be placed here. So now the fingering, if we start on the seventh of the chord, starts here. Seventh, root, third, fifth. It's a C major seven arpeggio in a small little two string compact form. Now, if that's an octave, stands to reason if I do this, I can do this, I can do this, so it also stands to reason that I can play through the whole thing, watch. Three octave symmetrical arpeggio shape. Very nice sound. So um, let's just say we'll build one, uh, for example, off of an A minor. It's in the same key. So we've got a root, third, which is a flat third now because we're making a minor chord. A fifth, seventh fret on the E note here. Now we have a minor seventh. Flat seven. Drop that seventh down an octave. We have this. Very useful little shape. So these are kind of fun to play around. Um, now, you don't have to necessarily play them straight up and down either. You can play around with the order of notes. Very easy to do little patterns on. Um, also, you don't have to play all three octaves. Watch this. If I move them around diatonically, which means you're keeping within the notes of the, of the key, um, I might play something like this. C major 7, A minor 7, and then how about a G major 7? might be an A Dorian sort of thing. Some nice possibilities. It gives you a real um, real chord tone flavor to your licks um, in what feels a lot like just typical scale patterns. And here's why it feels like in scale patterns, because you can approach it a little bit differently. If I say take a uh, uh, we're, well, let's go in C major. I take the Locrian mode right below it. Keep going. Um, what happens is if I leave off the last note on that three note per string fingering on this string and the middle note on this one, I wind up with that very same shape that we started off with, the major seven arpeggio. So it's like a little gap scale thing that ends up yielding that. So even if you're not really that aware of the chord tones or the chords are changing fast or you want to fly through a bunch of superimposed um, arpeggios, meaning you're taking arpeggios from chords that are different than the harmony chord that's being played underneath uh, to achieve different tensions, well, you just, you just simply uh, you'll wind up with a lot of these <laughs> anyway, kind of by fluke, by, uh, by considering that sort of fingering um, if, you're, if you're playing primarily in a scalar approach rather than a chord tone. So anyway, um, Play around with those. Uh, I'll just run through them once uh, slowly each time and uh, 
You will also find there's a tab for these uh, two positions that I just showed you today down uh, down there. If you scroll down, you'll uh, you'll find them. Um, anyway, here's the C major seven arpeggio again, starting on the seventh of the chord. <laughs> A minor 7 starting again on the 7th of the chord. Kind of fun to play around with, so uh, enjoy. <laughs> 